Hey guys, so welcome back to Judgment. Let's carry on where we left off. The prosecution's office have tried to pull a fast one on us, trying to make us think that we were the main suspect in our good friend Shintani's murder, when in fact it was Ayabe all along. Hoshino, get in the taxi. We're gonna save Ayabe's ass because he's claiming to be set up. His gun was used in the murder of Shintani, plugging a couple of bullets into his chest. Let's clear the air, shall we? Who the hell is trying to set our dirty cop up? On-duty detective, arrested for murder. <laughs> now this is a shock. I've never seen him so well dressed. Try not to look so happy about it then. <laughs> this is Hoshino Sensei from the Genda Law Office. He's young, but he's reliable. He's my oh, partner this time. Here I thought the great Takayuki Yagami would represent me. I don't work for Genda Law I anymore. Someone in court. I'll still be gathering all the evidence, though. Don't worry. It worked for Hamra. And he was guilty. I'm Hoshino. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to clear your name. You sure, kid? Shintani was practically your boss, huh? If I'm really the killer... Well, I mean, you're not the killer, right? I gotta believe in my client, right? Uh, he's not the killer, is he? Probably not. <laughs> what do you mean, probably? I... it's 50-50. I do have a poor track record with defending people that turn out to be murderers. I need to get the facts straight before I can defend Ayabe. I hear your gun's the one Shintani was murdered with. How's yep. that possible? Apparently the rifling on the bullet matched. Um, what's rifling again? The really? distinct marks uh, on the bullet. Sorry. Like a gun's so fingerprint. guns have these spiral-shaped grooves on the inside of the barrel to stabilize the bullet's trajectory. These grooves are called the rifling and leave a mark on the bullet itself. Whoa. <laughs> now, the rifling's slightly different on every gun. Kind of like its fingerprints. Aha, I knew that would come up. And apparently, the marks on the bullet that killed Shintani matched my gun's rifling. So your gun must have killed Shintani-sensei. That or they fabricated yeah. the rifling results. It was the murder weapon, for sure. No, it's looking like it's the former. So, someone used my gun to commit the crime, and I'm being set up. Someone went through the trouble of stealing a detective's gun just to kill Shintani? I mean, isn't it a bit sus? He's a detective. You'd think, hmm, maybe he wouldn't use his own service weapon to kill someone because it could easily be traced back to him, right? He wouldn't be that sloppy. But how? You remember the day he died? We were having a nice stiff drink at Tender. You, me, and Kaito. And if you were going to end up somehow desperate enough to kill Shintani using your own gun, you wouldn't just deposit the corpse at Yagami's place. You'd melt it down or dump it in the harbor somewhere it'll never be found, right? So the bullets could never be matched. Yeah, I remember. That was my first time meeting Kuroiwa. Yeah, good I times. I hung around after you guys beat it. It wasn't a while till I decided to go home. Thing is, I don't remember what happened next. Someone roofied your huh? drink? Someone smacked me oh. in the back of the head. Crept up so I couldn't see him. You got ambushed? Where was this? And you're only bringing Close this up bar, now. But I'm not sure. It all happened so damn fast. Hmm. Some great detective work there. Yeah. What do you expect? Whoever knocked me out moved me too. That just fucks with things even more. Didn't Move check surveillance camera records or anything? Random bench over in the Kamurocho Children's Park. That's, Not a soul around when I came to. It's quite a distance a he transported you. He must have taken you in a car. How long were you out for? Hour or so, Tops. But as I found out later, that hour's when Shintani was murdered. And your gun was returning? My fucking gun. So the real killer still has your gun? No. It was in its holster when I woke up. Wait, what? Huh. Whoever attacked me took my gun, murdered Shintani. And put it back where they found it, all within the course of an hour. Sounds like a 24 so the episode. Only thing missing was a what bullet. a ballsy ass killer. Not even that, if you'd believe it. They got rid of any sign it had ever been used. Maybe if we look at the bullet from Shintani's body. Not gonna happen. Nothing spectacular about a single bullet. So we can't prove the murderer stole the gun. By the way, did you tell anyone you got attacked? No. I mean. Nothing even got stolen. Reporting it just would have put me in more trouble. Hmm. Don't want to draw attention to your side job, huh? But wasn't it suspicious? Sucks being a dirty cop. A real detective could have reported Just being knocked out and transported nah. for no reason? 
Ken, are you there? The culprit must have been counting on that, though. They went after you specifically because they knew you wouldn't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> so it was all planned. Is it Raincoat Man? Planned or not, the bullet that killed Shintani ended up with your gun's rifle marks on it. There's no denying that. And the body was yep. found in my office. I only found out when they hauled me in, though. Killer's hitching no his bits. Surprise, they suspect me. There's no reason not to at this point. But none of my co-workers said a damn word. <laughs> I wonder why. Eh. You know how Kuroi has been dragging me all over town with him? He probably just wanted to make sure I didn't skip town. Only just realized that now. Oof. What did you say is your alibi? You were knocked out in the park? <laughs> Not a very believable story. Come on. You and I both know I didn't kill him. Somebody's pinning it on me. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to prove that you're innocent here. There's what a lot of straight up evidence I got. You think I got a chance? <laughs> You'll be just fine. Eh, no worries. Chin up. <laughs> uh, guess that was a dumb question. Nobody's gonna tell a guy his head's on the chopping block. <laughs> uh, well, you got me there. Sorry. I was just trying to let you off lightly. Okay, well, Children's Park it is. Ayabe was set up by whoever killed Shintani. That's what we've got to work to prove. You really trust ayabe son? What if he's lying to us? It's not that I don't trust him. He might Ayabe. be a dark stain on the forest, but he's a decent guy. Smart, too. It's that I know there's someone else involved. He wouldn't kill. Someone smart. Especially not with his own gun. Someone else did this. You think it's the mole? That's the most obvious suspect. Let's start by talking to someone close to the case. I've got a guy in mind. Ooh. Which would be... Oh, Captain Hamara. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. where is he, by but the way? nobody knows where he is, right? It's true. He had quite the prisons early on, but now he's kind of thoughts are though. Just been the spell. He's going to know where to find Hamra. It's him. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll head back to the office then. <laughs> Don't want to walk into a Yakuza den. Say what we learned. With my backpack on and my attorney's badge. Fair enough. Okay, evidence, persons of interest and case synopsis all updated. Let's uh have a look see. Ibe insists that he was attacked by someone and his gun was temporarily stolen. Possibly being used in the crime. Was it technically stolen? You could say it was borrowed. Nonetheless, there remains a lack of evidence and witnesses to substantiate this claim. Not good. The rifling marks the group pattern left on the bullet extracted from Shintani's body. The marks match perfectly with the rifling on Ibe's gun. Based on this information, it can be deduced that Ibe's gun was used to shoot Shintani. Okay, so we've got the. There's so many persons of interest in this case, it's unbelievable. Thank God we don't have to make a cork board out of it. Uh, <laughs> we'll be here all day trying to review every single person involved. Find a way to meet Matsugane. I don't think we've got anything clear on the map. Well, God. I should be uh, paying attention to where I'm walking. <laughs> let's, uh, let's figure out a way to meet with Matsugane. Okay, my first thought is to go find Higashi over at the arcade. Perhaps he may have an idea of where Matsugane is. Oh no, my friend's in trouble again. Guys, I told you to leave him alone, for goodness sake. Alright, today's the day for sure. I'm getting that money out of you no matter what. Yeah, we've been leaning on your mochi-making ass for far too long. That reminds me. I want some more of that mochi from last time. It was so good, it practically melted in my mouth. <laughs> oh, those. I'm glad you enjoyed them. They really are a treat. In fact, there's a guy who's willing to feed them to you. Probably with a fist, smushing it down your throat. We do have plenty more available this time around. You can buy as much as you like. Oh, at least he's uh, managing his stock better this time. Good, good. I'll be taking one of each. Or, you know what? I'll just take the whole batch. Anaki, not again. Ah. These guys. Step in. Hey. You people really don't give up, huh? Ah? Damn straight. You're going down today. I've got the power of mochi in me. And would you look at that? I've got ten of my boys with me. So I'll be practically unstoppable. Uh, that's not how it works. I don't think you level up just because you have ten boys behind you. <sighs> well, at least you put more effort into it this time. Guess we're doing this. I guess we are, Yakuza. Hey, by the way, any of you guys know where Matsugane is? Damn, I just realized how many people there actually are. 
There's a lot. <laughs> Let's clear the way a little bit. We may need the X boost here. Come on. Windmill! Oh. Well, that's that's a windmill on the ground. No, 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 no. Talk about crowd control. Jeez. I feel bad for uh, the shop owner. These are all prospective customers that are never going to be sampling any of his mochi. Mind you, sampling by definition means that I'm they're never going to pay for it, so... Maybe I am doing him a favor after all. Ugh. I can't believe I kicked that guy behind me. <sighs> oh no. What? I used the next action. Get off me! What are you doing? God. <laughs> Trying to go for a piggyback ride? How dare you? Alright, one left. Tanaka. <laughs> okay. I thought that would end you. I'll just have to snap your chin back instead. Damn, these guys per formed a perfect line on the road. And they all synchronized their ability to check the watches at the same time. Gah! For the last time, stop bothering this guy. You understand. You know, if you really like my sweets that much, you can just have some. Here, it's on me today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nothing beats the taste of your special sweet bean paste. Come on, play the sub story music. I want to hear it. Where is it? Or do I have to edit it in? Uh, Aniki, have you completely forgotten our mission? Uh? I don't give a damn no more. I decide from here on out I'm dedicating my life to supporting this shop. Then here you go. Don't eat it all in one bite now. Snatch haze. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Now let's head back to the office. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. What? Oh, yeah? And make sure to line up here tomorrow and buy me some more of them sweets. Yeah. Uh, Aniki, what are you saying? Did I stutter? No, sir. Not at all, sir. <laughs> and then they run off. Well, didn't see that coming. Well, at least he's a fan of the shop now. I guess protection money will actually garner him some protection this time around. Although it's probably more like protection sweets. Thanks again, Yagami-san. Third time's the charm, as they say. <laughs> Oddly enough, yeah. Oh, and if you'd like, you can have this as well. Ooh, Takamitsu Sakur Sakuramochi. I can? Oh, thanks. If it's tasty enough to make a Yakuza forget about his protection racket, then it must be something special. <laughs> well, there's nothing like dessert to make a quarrel disappear. I guess that's the magic of a traditional Japanese sweet shop. Oh, well, I suppose... The tourism board paid for this line to get into judgment. Don't I know it. <laughs> I really do appreciate your kindness. Yay, another friend. On our way to 20, just so we can do another side case. No worries. I'm just glad those goofballs finally cleaned up their act. Now you can make your mochi in peace. Thanks to you, at any rate. Well, I must start preparations for tomorrow, so I hope to see you again. Please take care. No problem. I'll take care. I'm just confronting a uh, known Yakuza hard ass. That's all. Oh, we got a side case in here. And Mr. Try and Hit Me's over here, too. Oh, and these guys. Wise choice. So many things to do. And I don't even know if the arcade's where I need to go. It just makes the most sense, right? Okay, Mr. Try and Hit Me. Let's see if you can dodge all my legs. Which is only two, but you know what I mean. They fly around a lot. Man, I lost again. Is there anyone out there who can hit this guy? Really? <laughs> oh, there is. And I won't be losing to anyone until I face him again. Hey. This is Yagami. Oh. Uh, hey, aren't you? Hey. Yo, it's been a while. <laughs> so we meet again at last. I've been looking forward to a rematch. Ready to punch some air? Well, aren't you all fired up? Even your clothes are orange. Oh. Oh yeah, I've been trading day in and out, day out for this moment. I'm practically untouchable now. Still costs 5,000 yen per round though, so are you gonna try and hit me or what? I mean, it's in your name. Yeah. I'll take you on. <laughs> oh, I am so looking forward to this. And of course, here comes the crowd. Poor, poor uh, previous customer didn't get anyone watching. Allow me a brief divination. I see with my mind's eye a challenger. But what's this? He's on his knees in defeat! You need to take your mind's eye to an optometrist, because I see a much different future. I see one with my foot up your ass, and I can't get it out. 
As kicky as that sounds. Here we go. Uh oh. It's already a bad start. Ah! Yagami! If only you didn't take 10 years per move. Oh god! Oh, I'm panicking! Tanago's gonna win! No! He avoided me! Damn it, Yagami, why do you feel so heavy half the time? I mean, once he gets going, he's good, but god, the wind up, you know, it's as bad as Majima's breaker back in the day. Woo ha! Can't touch this, baby! Woo ha! Ugh, dang. I didn't think I'd lose. But I'm not on my knees, so your vision's still wrong. <laughs> Don't feel too bad, you've got moves too. I just happen to have much more. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Tch. Next time for sure. There's nothing I can do right now. I'll need to come back when I'm faster. I'll be back, Tanago, when I can afford the freaking skill that boosts my combo speed. I, can't, I should be saving for that, honestly. Because, <laughs> damn, sometimes. Anyway, that's fine. Let's go to Conrai and get something to eat so we can drown our sorrows away in meat. Yeah. Oh, right now? No, it's no problem, doll. Hi. Who are you talking to? How long are you going to be on the phone? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll just be a second. Uh, no, Captain. I wasn't calling you, sweetie. <laughs> Promise. I mean, yes, of course I'm at home. I was talking to my... cat. I'll head over right away. How dare you spend your wife's birthday... on the phone. <laughs> Oh, waiter, another glass of the good stuff, and make it snappy! Whoa. Uh, no, that's not the voice of a drunk woman. The TV is on, and it's loud. I'm totally at home right now. Making a point not to get too close to drunks, and that lady is plastered. Oh, well. Maybe she'll give me some business. Hey, you. Hmm? Huh? Me. Yes, you with a dumb face. Come here and take a load off. What? Why would I? I said, have a seat. How long are you gonna make me drink alone? But I'm. But I... this is Yagami. Okay. Don't keep your wife waiting on her Ooh, birthday. Ugh, shit. This is what I get for thinking about keeping my distance. How many has she had anyway? Excuse me. Okay. Did you need anything? Do I know you? Stop with the nonsense. I'm your wife. And you don't keep your wife waiting on her birthday. My wife? This is Yagami's wife? That's me. I'm sweet, I'm petite, and I'm... Naoko. Huh? But we're not married. How did she jump to the conclusion that I'm her husband? Hey! Sorry, I have to use the restroom real quick. Uh, hold your horses, Tatsuro. No, this can't wait. I have to play Milky Nose. Hey, man. Aren't you that drunk lady's husband? Yeah, sorry. I had to hide for a second. Hey. What the hell's going on? Just as shocked as you are, buddy. Looks like she thinks you're me. <sighs> She's so drunk she could mistake me for her husband. That's a problem. I'm I'm a model, you know? A talent agency represents me. Oh, I agree. She's both wasted and nearsighted, and that is a dangerous combination. She's got her makeup done to the nines and no glasses, so she's blind as a bat right now. Probably because her eyes are rolled almost to the back of her head. Why is she drinking so heavily, then? Do you disappoint her or something? Well, you may have heard her ranting, but it's her birthday today. The thing is, my work keeps calling, so I've been on the phone this whole time. She's kind of pissed about it. You didn't think to turn your phone off? <laughs> Within reason, I guess. What do you do, anyway? I can't put my finger on it. Can't you tell from looking at me? I'm an aircraft pilot. My wife and I work for the same airline. Ah. Oh. I thought you might have been a... a cosplaying, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you would be cosplaying, but, you know... Anyway, so what does your airline want with you on your day off? It's not actually my day off. I'm on standby. Which means I'm supposed to be waiting at home. 
But now another pilot is called out sick and I have to go in. There's a plane full of people who need me. Right. And I take it you're not supposed to go out to dinner while you're on standby. <sighs> nope. Not ever. Figures. But my wife's birthday slipped my mind. What else was I supposed to do? I don't know, remember her birthday? <laughs> nah. They let an irresponsible guy like this fly planes? Scary. Thank God for autopilot. Well, it sounds like you're going to have to bite the bullet. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it sounds like you're going to have bite the bullet <laughs> and tell your wife you're going into work. Gotta love typos. Yeah, she's getting pretty belligerent, huh? My travel schedule is bad enough. But if I break it to her that I forgot her birthday too, my marriage is over. I was trying to find a way out of this mess when you showed up. Not sure why you sat with her, but I'm glad you did. I was compelled to. There was a blue folder on my map. <laughs> Your voice is the same register as mine. And if you were to wear my uniform, I don't need to wear your uniform. You don't need to strip down for me, okay? She already mistakes me for your for you. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. Well, I'm going to ask anyway. Will you please take my place and have dinner with my wife? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. Anyway, you slice it. Switching places with you is crazy. Plus, are you going to fly the plane naked? You're going to give me your clothes, God damn it! Would you prefer to fly a plane for me instead? Huh? Okay, that's next level stupid. Honey, did you fall in? See, she's calling you. I'm sure you can handle a truck woman until she passes out. Come on. Yes, come on. Let's just hurry up and exchange our contact info. Ugh, I couldn't even hit Mr. Try and Hit Me. You think I can hit on your wife? Here, it's a cheat sheet. It's my profile and a few important details about me. You just, I was gonna say, you just carry this along with you wherever you go, just in case. And here, my license and a few other important knickknacks. I've got your license? Oh god. Nah. Is this really necessary? <laughs> the devil is in the details of these situations, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna stop by my house to get the spare uniform so you can have this. Wait. So you're going to your house naked? Oh. <clears throat> well, damn, don't I look dapper. <laughs> wow. I would trust you to fly a plane just by looking at you. Just because I'm being confused for you. That's a bad call. Alright, I've got to get to work. Good luck. Huh? Huh? Whoa, wait. Honey, I can see you. Come have a seat. It's my fucking birthday. Uh, shit. This is really happening, isn't it? <laughs> Worst birthday ever. Oh, God. Oh. Uh. I could make or break this marriage. It's all in my hands. Here goes. But I better study this cheat sheet real quick. Fine, let's have a quick look. Uh, we got the burger fugitive as well. Um, worst birthday ever. Over here in side cases. Tatsuro Tanaka, 34 years old. Naoko Tanaka, 33 years old. Met in the Yakuniku store right here. Mom's a nurse. Sister's in England. Dad's in heaven. Naoko's a bad drunk. No sake for her. Has a smelly fart. <laughs> okay. A bag that Tatsuro forced on me. There's a lot of junk in this thing. He doesn't need it for work, apparently. Okay. Well, let's give it our best shot. I promise. Yep. Yeah. Hey, guys. Look at them just staring at me, mindlessly tapping away on their phones. Um. You're creeping me out, girls. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna sit beside you. Don't mind me. Uh, um. Hey. Sweetie, sorry I took so long. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Now that I look closer... Uh-oh, is this over before it began? Oh well, the idea was a bad idea. Have you gotten more handsome lately? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> <laughs> so... Who was that on the phone, honey? Oh, yes, that. Uh, it was not my father, he's in heaven. It's my younger brother. This is my little brother. Eh? Since when do you have a little brother? Oh. Do I not? No, you don't. Not one I've ever met. You feeling okay, honey? Oh, shit. Sorry, I guess the, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh the alcohol's getting to me. Well, pull yourself together. 
Who's gonna take care of me if you're a pickle too? Better give that cheat sheet another look before I really screw something up. Uh, <laughs> the captain. It was the captain. <laughs> the captain? He would call. Oh no, it was fine. He just, uh, butt dialed me. Is that so? Or could it have been that woman? Woman? W what woman? Don't you play dumb with me? Whoa. I saw you. You were having a fun little shopping spree with a flight attendant yesterday. A real young piece of ass. Huh? I, w I was? Shit. This isn't on the cheat sheet. You're a terrible husband. A terrible man. <laughs> what a deplorable man. A scum, I'd say. Ugh. I'm at dinner with a drunk woman who's not my wife. I'm apparently cheating on her. Cool. Uh, now, now, sweetie, let's not make a scene. Ugh, I've made terrible life choices. Uh oh, this is going down in flames real quick. All men should be blasted to the moon. <gasps> At least she's coming down. They're having technical difficulties with the plane, so I'm off the hook. I'm heading back now. Oh, thank God. Oh. Why are you here? Huh? Yagami-kun? Huh? M Mafu, you. Yagami-kun? Who's this? And what's with the outfit? Are you cosplaying as a pilot? <laughs> Funny you should say that. That was going to be my exact excuse before that subtitle popped up. <laughs> Yagami-kun? This woman a friend of yours, honey? Huh? Honey? Well, don't panic. It's fine. Uh, yeah, about this. I I'm on a job, okay? You know I'm a private investigator, for all you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm working a case here, and I technically am. This is a side case. W what business do you have with my husband? You another one of his hussies. H husband? Yagami kun something you want to tell me? Uh, uh, Tutto. honey, let's hear it. Explain this to me right now, you jerk. Uh, 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 this is Yagami. <laughs> Should I signal to Mafu that I'm undercover? Or would Naoko catch on? She probably would. What should I say Mafu is to me? <laughs> She's got the wrong guy. She's my ex-girlfriend. She's made a mistake. Uh, uh, this is not Yagami. Yeah, but... Ma'am, can't you see we're in the middle of a meal here? Now would you please leave us be until later? Well, if you tell me you got that, the later part, especially. Come on. You're smart. I see. If that's how you're going to act, so be it. She didn't get it. She thinks I'm purposely ignoring her. <laughs> She's drunker than you. I want a divorce. What? <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why am I in control of this man's destiny? That woman from earlier? She's your side piece, isn't she? That's who you were seeing, right? I bet she's a new flight attendant. No, she's not. I'm going home. Wait a minute. I'll explain everything. Explain what? Uh, oh, I need something to fix this. Anything. Please tell me. Hmm? Huh? This logo looks familiar. It's... It's a recent date and time. She mentioned seeing him shopping with a flight attendant, so it's possible that... Uh-oh. I can prove I'm not having an affair, Naoko. The paper bag that was in Tatsuro's bag. The stylish design and logo both stand out. Let's present it. I'm not presenting my cheat sheet. Wait. Showing her that right now wouldn't prove her husband isn't having an affair. I need something that'll prove Tatsuro-san has an alibi for when she thinks she saw him with the flight attendant. What was he actually doing with the flight attendant? I must have something that proves it. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, it's on the receipt. God, this logo looks like, oh, sorry. This looks like scratch paper, but it's actually a receipt. See the date? That's the day you saw me shopping with that girl. True, but what does that prove? Don't you see? Here's the store we shopped at. Yeah, it's a luxury store. 
You're spending our hard-earned money to get in her pants? Here. Happy birthday. Huh? huh? The truth is, I needed a lady's opinion on what kind of present to get you. I don't really know what the ladies are into these days, so... R really? I'm sorry. I wanted it to be a surprise. You caught me a birthday present? Oh, honey, how many years has it been since you've done that? Uh, I don't know, actually. But I think it means our love is real. It's true, my love. You're the only one I've ever loved. I'm the only one you'll lo I'll love. I'm the only one I'll love, sorry, until I die. Sorry, I, I'm drunk as well. Hey. Huh? huh? Why do I suddenly have two husbands? Oh. Crap, I, I think I'm... Oh. No. Phew. She passed out. She was just seeing double. Uh, Noko. I think that might have been a bit too much to handle. Tatsuro-san. Thank you. Wow. She's fast asleep. Yanami-san! Thank you so much. You really went the extra mile for a complete stranger. It was... interesting. But I hope you'll talk it out more when she wakes up. She wanted a fucking divorce. Yeah, I plan on it. I've been putting my work up on my marriage, and I see that now. Oh no, it's those women again. They're staring at us! Do they have anything better to do? But thanks to you, my, I think my wife's birthday turned into a great anniversary for us. Glad to hear it. I wish you and Naoko a long happiness, Tatsuro-san. Hey. Yes. Tonight I will make it up to her. You know. Thanks again. Oh crap, I forgot about Mafia. No, I'm the one in hot water. I better message her. Sorry about earlier, Mafia. I was undercover and I said some things I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. I hope I didn't mess anything up for you. Y you came close. I'm surprised you couldn't deduce that. Gosh. Prosecution's office. I'm very concerned. Alright, time to head to the arcade at long last. Although, I didn't even get to eat. Well, we still don't have a marker here. And we've got customers. Uh-oh. Hey, you seen Higashi huh? anywhere? Looking for Higashi, Anaki? He's back in his office. Oh. Well then, don't mind if I do. Anything? Yes. What do you want? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong again? I had a feeling. I need to know where Hamura is. Still hiding. Not a clue where. What about Matsugane-san? Is he back at the office? Use your head, talk. No way he's gonna stick around there. Kaito? Kaito-san. Amura and the boss are in the same boat. Exactly, they're both under fire. Those would hunt them down in an instant if they were easy to track. Exactly. Wherever they are now, they're safe. Probably in the no sewers or something. Be, though. Can't you at least get in touch with them? Just say we want to have a few words. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. Surely they have like an emergency line. You know how to pick up a phone, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks, I do. God, what do you think of me? How do you think I accept clients? I mean, it's through the bulletin board, but that's besides the point. Hmm. Hoshino-kun told me about Ayabe. Said the mole framed him. Yes, he's really behind all of this. He is a puppet yeah, master of sorts. Which brings us right back to Hamura. What's his involvement? From him Who is he? There. Plain and simple. Hamura knows him, Let's just apparently. Let's just hope san knows where he is. Is it someone we've met well, already? No point worrying about that until Higashi gets back. This is back Kido. Let's hit it. I mean, I'm thinking of someone buff, I suppose, not scrawny. So Shono have kind of discounted as the mole. I don't know. Who would look imposing in a raincoat? Well, we've been told to kill time, but every single friend I've got has been wiped off the map. And any potential side cases as well. So, Kaito, what are we supposed to do? I guess find a smoking zone and puff a few? Or maybe we go to the arcade or something? Not sure. Depends on how quickly Higashi calls us. Well, here we go. Hello? Yo, it's Higashi. Hey, any word from Matsugane-san? What do you say? You make all your he calls standing in the middle of the street? Kamuro Kikunoya. A little ways out of the city. Take a cab. The boss is already there. Got it. Thanks, Higashi. Okay. I'll keep him waiting. As long as I don't have to cosplay as a pilot. Thankfully, we've got a taxi right here. 
Hoshna probably would have claimed that he ordered it. Come on, let's go. Kamaro Kikunoya. Wow. Fancy. Matsugane-san, our guests have arrived. Good. So you're hiding in a restaurant. Albeit not a very populated one. Please, take a seat. It's been some time, Tuck. Sure has. And you I haven't seen since your expulsion. Since like chapter two. Yes, sir. Matsugane-san, I'm sure Higashi mentioned this, but I want to ask you directly. Come now. Let's at least have a drink first, huh? Um... <laughs> Sure, if why you not? Say so. I guess you never know when your yeah. time has come. Place is pretty fancy. It's been a while since the three of us drank. The three of us? There, there's four of us in here, Matsugane. Yeah, top me up, yeah. Attack. I have a favor to ask. You need to stay away from Hamura. Why? Oh. Uh, what? Why? This family is nothing without him. Well. Well, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. Well, you need to take yeah, charge of him, man. It's your family name. Where is he? <laughs> I just told I you to know. stay away from him. He has no reason to keep me informed of his every move. Then why did you call us here? For a drink. You need to come all this way if that's all you had to tell us. Boys. Oh no. Really? Is this how it's going down? Is Hamura here? Or did he put you up to this? Boss? I don't understand. My boy. You need to stay away from Hamura. The mole's my top priority now. I'm not gonna bust him, and I just Hamura's need information. The only person I can ask. Don't you understand? Hamura's been compromised. Compromised? Him and that mole you're chasing, they're in this together. Well, that's Time to precisely why I need to go after him then, isn't it? What if I say no? I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. <laughs> no shit. What do you mean he's dangerous? Killed by ex of my ex colleague. I stop? And stuffed him in a closet. Amara, the boy has money on his side and a lot of it. Yeah, well, he's still hiding in the sewers, so. I don't know who he gets it from. I suggest you don't push the matter. But if you really want to put yourself in harm's way, then let me be the one to do it. At least then you'll make it out alive. Damn, what is... You do that? What has Hamura gotten himself into? You know, you and Kaito, well, I've always tried to keep you two kids safe. All this time, I've never asked for anything in return. Damn. But here we are. Oh, Yagami's touched. The only thing that I'll ever ask of you. Abandon this pursuit of the mall. If you've ever held a shred of regard for Oh, me, here comes the guilt trip. Then heed this one request. I'm not turning back. The risk doesn't matter anymore. Okubo, the mole, the ADDC, it all connects. Please, I need to solve this. Or I'll never this sleep isn't again. about what regard I have for you. I won't stop. Then I'm sorry. <clears throat> Boss, I've always looked up to you, and good Yakuza don't disobey. So? But now, I'm in Yagami's corner, damn it. Oh. Thank you, Kaito. Yes, that you are. I've basically got a missile with me. Matsugane-san! Higashi. Sir, 
Pick your side. Us, right? I've had enough. You're Matsugani, are you not? I am, boss. Uh oh. Hey, Kaito said good Yakuza don't disobey orders. Prove it then. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> bad luck, dude. <laughs> Guess we're doing this, huh? Not like we got a choice. And now that we're up against the wall, you're just gonna have to do it. Let's see what you show got. us what you're made of. I'm sure he's. What kind of yakuza me. are you, Higashi? Oh, here he goes. Time to die. He's embodying his persona. Whoa. Oh. Oh, here he goes. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm loving these intros to fights. They've really come a long way. Toru Higashi. Okay, come on. All of you are going down. I got Kaito on my side. And my flying legs. That I sometimes have multiple of. No, don't you dare stab me. X boost. Oh man, if I could just keep this pace all day long, maybe I'll be able to hit try and hit me after all. Oh. Kaito? Oh, that's right. Higashi doesn't target Kaito. He only fights me. I better be on guard. Uh, ow. Oh. <laughs> Slow topple before the quick recovery. Oh. Okay. Uh. 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 Damn it, Higashi. Get back here. Ow. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, heal. Another X boost coming your way. Damn it, he still has so much health. Oh, Kaito's joined the party again. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but you picked your side. Get rid of that guy. You're all that's left. Let's give this a shot, Sally. Oh, he is targeting Kaito. Although Kaito's almost down. Oh. Sick kick. Oh. <laughs> One shot. I ain't getting up from that. Damn, man. Higashi's not someone to fuck with. I better make sure I'm at. I got my A game on when I'm facing off against him. Especially when he's got his special moves active. Okay. Let's get rid of the trash mob. Like so. Kaito's handling business. I might heal up, actually, before we go into the fray. Ugh. Damn, stop blocking! Oh, what the heck is going on with my legs? God, stop using my legs! Ugh. Kaito, anytime! So, uh, I need you to recover ASAP! Done. No juggling required. Oh my god, he's going to drown. Get him out of the swamp! Wait till someone comes crashing through the paper walls. Well... I knew you'd win. <laughs> I just came to collect my drink. That was simple for you two. Far too simple. Definitely didn't need to retry. Or have my shoes on, it seems. Makes me realize how old I really am. It's a shame, isn't it? That I've all but faded away. Should have burned out uh, instead of faded away. Time sure flies, my boy. In the blaze of glory. Just gets worse and worse with every year. Damn tragic. Matsukane. 
Asshole. What do we have here? Oh, 20 years ago. That's quite the flashback. That easy. Oh, that's Yagami and Kaito. You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Wait, no, that's not Yagami, sorry. Is this the Yagami kid you're oh, talking about? Yep. Happens every fucking time I run into the guy. So, asshole. You, uh, get some kind of sick pleasure out of him beating the crap out of you? Time after time, you just keep coming back for seconds. You all right in the brain, kiddo? <laughs> I'm saner than you, you bullshit Yakuza. <laughs> huh. And thus, Yakuza, huh? and thus I got adopted. Some rotten attitude you got there. Hey, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <sighs> this is Yagami. <laughs> Back in the day, I was a lot more like you than I think you even know. Are we gonna get a flashback within a flashback? I was in a real bad place, so I just started punching anything that pissed me off. And before long, my time was up. Nowhere left for me to go except this cesspool of a city. And you, my boy, that's exactly where you are. Don't talk like you know me. You don't know shit. Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter, and I just kept flushing. <laughs> and now... <laughs> you, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. I can tell. Mm. You know, sometimes people have no choice but to turn to the Yakuza. But, even if my chance is gone, you've got a future ahead of you. Now, I might have called this place a cesspool, <laughs> but it's more than that. <laughs> Kamurocho, it's a city of dreams where even from the gutters you can shoot for the stars. It really is a special place. So if you want to get ahead in this it's town, basically Night City. <laughs> I'll, kid, Cyber I'll teach you everything I know. But look. If nothing else, you might want to lay off your little date nights with Kaito. No, that comes 20 years from now. We have date nights. <laughs> in present day. Damn, didn't even get to see Kaito's face. I wanted to see his youthful regimen. How he keeps his skin nice and soft. In times like these, it's hard to even enjoy a drink. The mole you're searching for is a hired gun employed by Hamura. Oh. An assassin? Like Lao Gui. Yes. It seems Hamura always turns to the same person when he needs someone taken care of. So why hasn't he come after me then? killer, without a doubt. Do you know anything about him? No. But whoever he is, he's a goddamn pro. He's killed several people now the exact same way, yet barely left a trace. Mm. Do you know what he looks like, at least? No. The only one who does is Hamura. So our connection is he's a mutual assassin between the ADDC and Hamura. That's the plan. You should know. Even if you track down Hamura and the Mole, that won't be the end of it. They're just puppets on a stage much larger than you realize. Oh my god, how grand is Once this conspiracy? Once you on that stage, there's no hiding from the limelight. Do you understand? I'd rather try and regret it than never try at all. I don't want to fade away like you, Matsugane. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> listens to their elders these days. Blaze of glory all the way. Sorry about this, boss. Seriously. It is what it is. Can I just say one thing, Matsugane-san? Give Higashi a, an aspirin, please. The Matsugane family I know would never turn a blind eye to cold-blooded murder like this. You say you can't exist without Hamura, but... Don't make me repeat myself. 
<laughs> Times have changed. Hamura is the Matsukani family now. I don't understand why he's just it's rename it. Place to, interfere <laughs> to, to the Hamura family. That's my prerogative as patriarch. He should have just taken over. Instead of being all stealthy Thank like you for everything. And have Matsugane the beard of the corporate of the of the Yakuza clan. Or the family, sorry. I promise I won't get myself killed. There's the sequel, after all. We're back. All that, still no clue where Hamura is. We're back to square one. Maybe we just gotta catch his attention. Not exactly. The boss slipped us a pretty big hint. Oh yeah? When he was talking about Captain Hamura. Hmm? He might be in hiding, yeah. But the family looks to Hamura for guidance now. He's got to be communicating yeah. with them somehow. He's not going to leave them to their own devices. We can just listen in on one of their conversations. That should lead us straight to him. We just got to get ears in there. You follow me? Well, that's a terrible hiding spot he's found himself in. You want to bug their office. Exactly. True, that might lead us straight to Hammer. I'm surprised, you know, the Curie clan hasn't thought to do this on their After own. After everything that just went down, you know what'll happen if we get caught. They'll kill us. Which means we'll just have to enlist the help of an expert burglar. <laughs> uh huh. You want to make Sugira do it? Yeah, we I'll need to dirty his hands a bit more. You go track down some bugs. Me? Make sure they're HD audio and shit. Meet me at the office once you've got them. Sounds good to me. Can't afford to do this half fast. I better change into my suit then. If it's technology I need, Tsukumo's the guy. Bet he's over at his usual haunt. Persons of interest updated. It's gotta be the mole, right? The mutual assassin. 